We all know that digital computers changed virtually every aspect of our life. Well, the arrival of quantum computers could be even more historic than that. Beyond just a technical advance, quantum computing represents a fundamental shift in the way we conceptualize and use computing. It will enable us to solve problems and analyze data in ways never before possible. Mathematicians' current go-to supercomputers operate on the basis of bits, or sequences of 1S and 0S, to perform processing jobs. Michio Kaku predicts that the next paradigm shift will occur when quantum computers achieve quantum supremacy, or the point at which they can solve problems that no classical computer could. Like the digital revolution before it, this one will change the face of computing forever by enabling hitherto impossible uses. Concerns concerning control, manipulation, data privacy, and the necessity of new cryptographic methods are raised by their development. What is quantum computing, and what effect will these cutting-edge machines have in the real world over the next few decades? Why do scientists find it so fascinating, yet so frightening? Join us as we explore Michio Kaku's groundbreaking discovery with the quantum computer and how it's a terrifying game-changer. Quantum computers are computers that store information and execute calculations using the principles of quantum physics. In some cases, this can be much more effective than even our most powerful supercomputers. Traditional computers, such as smartphones and laptops, use binary bits that can only be one of two values, 0 or 1, to store data. A quantum bit, or qubit, is the fundamental unit of storage in a quantum computer. Physical systems, such as the spin of an electron or the direction of a photon, are used to create qubits. Quantum superposition is the ability of these systems to simultaneously exist in a number of distinct configurations. Quantum entanglement is a phenomenon that can bind qubits together irreversibly. As a result, a string of qubits can stand in for several values at once. For example, any integer between 0 and 255 can be represented on a classical computer using just 8 data bits. However, a quantum computer only needs 8 qubits to simultaneously represent all of the numbers from 0 to 255. There are more atoms in the universe, but a few hundred entangled qubits would be enough to represent all the numbers in the universe. This is where quantum computers obtain their edge over classical ones. When a large number of permutations must be considered, quantum computers can do it in parallel. Examples include determining the shortest path between two points or finding the prime factors of a very large integer. Nonetheless, there may be many scenarios in which conventional computers continue to perform better than quantum ones. Future computers may therefore incorporate features from both of these architectures. For the time being, quantum computers are extremely delicate since a qubit can lose its quantum features if exposed to heat, electromagnetic radiation, or collisions with air molecules. This breakdown, known as quantum decoherence, is accelerated by increasing the number of particles in the system. Quantum computers must isolate qubits, keep them cool, or zap them with carefully controlled bursts of radiation to prevent them from being corrupted by environmental noise. When errors occur, more qubits are required to fix them. Scientists discovered the mathematical concepts underpinning this new sort of computer decades before quantum computers themselves were constructed. In the 1980s, researchers developed the first quantum algorithms to take advantage of qubits' characteristics. For instance, the Deutsch algorithm was the first theoretical hint that a quantum computer might eventually be more powerful than a traditional one. In order to determine the prime factors of an integer, Shor created a method in 1994. Public key cryptography systems are widely employed in cybersecurity applications, often without users' knowledge, to protect banking transactions like credit card payments. And since then, it has been considered as a threat to these systems, although a theoretical one for the time being, nevertheless crucial nonetheless. Understanding the underlying science of the forthcoming quantum revolution is a prerequisite for taking part in it. Thales recognizes the need to adopt this new paradigm in computing in order to train a new generation of algorithm developers who can understand the IT world in quantum terms. The first practical applications of quantum computing are already in the works, despite the fact that quantum computers with the processing power to achieve quantum supremacy, the holy grail of the quantum revolution, are in the works.
you undoubtedly have one of the most important components for creating the most powerful computer in the world sitting on top of your bathroom vanity. At IBM's Thomas J. Watson Research Center in New York State's Westchester County, scientists always keep a box of dental floss, Reach is the preferred brand, close by in case they need to tinker with their oil drum size quantum computers, the latest of which can complete certain tasks millions of times as fast as your laptop. IBM System 1, housed in a shiny aluminum canister and covered in museum-grade glass like the Mona Lisa, consists of three concentric cylinders of decreasing circumference. Collectively, they enclose a quantum chip at the chandelier's bottom, which is connected by silver wires that loop and cascade down the gold plates. This device can only function properly when supercooled to 0.015 kelvins, which is colder than outer space. Most substances either shrink or become brittle and break when subjected to temperatures like that. It turns out, though, that regular dental floss is quite sturdy when used to bind loose wires. IBM's VP of Quantum, Jay Gambetta, specifies that only the unwaxed, unflavored kind will do. To paraphrase, otherwise, released vapors mess everything up. It's an unusually homemade aspect of technology that promises to revolutionize practically everything. By optimizing the paths of thousands of fuel tankers traveling across the world, determining which intensive care unit patients need the most immediate care, and better simulating chemical processes at the atomic level to build new materials, quantum computing has already proven its unique ability to crunch stacks of data. It also has the potential to greatly improve artificial intelligence, allowing for more efficient training of algorithms that will one day make autonomous automobiles and drone taxis a reality. The accuracy and efficiency of quantum AI simulations are mind-boggling. Asset management companies are among the earliest adopters of quantum because of the low incremental cost of implementing quantum calculations into their operations. Commercial applications are not far behind. Spanish business Multiverse Computing has completed successful pilot projects with global companies like BASF and Bosch that show its quantum algorithms can treble foreign exchange trading profits and catch almost four times as many production line problems. Quantum deep learning algorithms deviate drastically from their conventional counterparts. They can be trained more quickly, more training methodologies can be tried, and they are significantly more adept at extracting meaningful correlations from large datasets. Tech behemoths like Google, Amazon, and Alibaba, as well as competing nations, are all vying for control of this market. According to research by International Data Corp, the global quantum computing market is expected to expand from $412 million in 2020 to $8.6 billion in 2027. Whereas classical computers store and process data using binary bits, the qubits at the heart of quantum computing are tiny subatomic particles that can exist in some percentage of both states simultaneously, much like a coin spinning in midair. The computational capacity is increased exponentially by moving from dual to multivariate processing. The most powerful supercomputer of today may potentially spend seconds solving problems that currently take it many years to solve. Quantum computing in the future has the potential to tackle intractable problems like climate change and food insecurity by opening previously unimaginable frontiers in mathematics and science. We are on the threshold of a quantum revolution thanks to a rush of recent achievements and government support. However, there are dangers associated with any disruptor, and quantum has become a headache for national security. Communications, financial transactions, and even military defenses are all in jeopardy because of their problem-solving power. China and the United States in particular are determined to win the technological race because they fear falling behind in the new era of great power confrontation. Michio Kaku predicts that this technology will usher in the next industrial revolution. It's similar to the early days of the internet or classical computers. If anything, the progress made with classic computing methods is remarkable. All processors from the original Apple II in the late 1970s to the most advanced smartphones and supercomputers of today reduce operations to binary. Rendering information in such a simplistic way is like trying to play a Rachmaninoff concerto in Morse code but life is much more complex than that. Additionally, quantum theory is more in sync with the laws of nature. Multiple atoms are bonded together into molecules by the electrons that are a part of every atom. Quantum particles mimic the way these electrons can theoretically be in two places at once, which has implications for fields like medicine and metallurgy, 
since it allows us to foretell how certain pharmaceuticals will react in the body or how well certain materials will hold up to corrosion. By analogizing the natural world, quantum manufacturing should make it possible to deliberately create innovations, as opposed to the trial and error approach used in conventional production. IBM has emerged as the market leader in recent years, despite the fact that the world's largest enterprises and hundreds of startups are all racing to exploit quantum. The company now has more operational quantum computers than the rest of the world put together, and its list of collaborators includes major players from virtually every sector, from ExxonMobil to Sony. The company, which was created more than a century ago to manufacture tabulating machines fed by punch cards, may now finally return to the cutting edge of technology. IBM has lagged behind competitors like Apple and Microsoft in recent years because it has failed to seize the initiative in cloud computing and artificial intelligence. Quantum provides a glimmer of hope. The speed of IBM's recently disclosed 433 qubit Osprey chip, the world's most powerful quantum processor, would considerably exceed the total number of atoms in the known universe if represented in conventional bits. Chiskid, IBM's open-source quantum toolkit, has been downloaded over 450,000 times and features access to more than 20 different quantum computers. In order to establish an industry around quantum, certain machines are free to use, while paying clients such as startups and researchers can access more powerful ones remotely on a leasing basis. IBM's ambitious roadmap calls for the introduction of a 1-121 qubit processor this year and the creation of modular quantum circuits that link many processor chips in the same computer by 2025, allowing for a total of more than 4,000 qubits. An important turning point is modularity. They have developed a method to create machines with thousands of qubits. Quantum has infinite potential in the business world. There is a wall in the BMW headquarters in Munich that keeps the car designers up at night. A new automobile model takes at least four years to develop. First, designers employ computer-aided style to develop an exterior that mixes beauty with utility. The next step is to create a clay replica and test its aerodynamic performance in a wind tunnel. The prototype is driven at 35 miles per hour into that legendary wall to see how it performs in a crash after innumerable judgments were made about the cabin, engine performance, and so on. If the vehicle doesn't pass muster when it comes to safety standards, it's time to start over. Here, quantum theory comes in handy by allowing precise forecasting of the behavior of complex materials of varying forms under load. Robust simulated crash tests can cut down the entire procedure time by up to six months. We can use quantum computing to locate the new design sweet spot that maximizes internal space while maintaining optimal aerodynamics. That's not even the beginning. Modern business teams with optimization problems that are ideally suited to quantum algorithms and might save time, energy, and resources. We must also equip the workers to make use of the technology we develop. According to Michio Kaku, in the not-too-distant future, global access to quantum technologies will be essential for conducting business. So, how can we ensure that we always have access to this technology, no matter what the global political climate looks like? In recent years, quantum has risen from obscurity to the forefront of international security discussions. Seventeen countries now have national quantum strategies, with an additional four in the planning stages. Quantum Computing Report estimates that China has spent $25 billion on quantum research since the 1980s. Pan Jianwei, the country's foremost quantum physicist, oversaw the 2016 launch of the world's first quantum satellite, and the 2021 unveiling of a 56-qubit quantum computer, both of which set new records at the time. The 14th Five-Year Plan for China, released in March 2021, included quantum mastery among its stated goals. China benefits from a porous boundary between business and national security. RSA, an asymmetric cryptography technique, is the foundation of modern cybersecurity and is used for everything from WhatsApp communications and bank payments to digital handshakes. In contrast to the billions of years it takes a traditional computer to crack RSA, a powerful quantum computer could do so in a matter of hours. In a controversial report released last year, a group of Chinese researchers claimed they had developed a quantum algorithm that could crack RSA on a 372 qubit computer. The United States now has the responsibility of leading the charge to develop post-quantum security. That's NIST for short, the National Institute of Standards and Technology. 
In 2016, Nest established a competition for programmers to submit new post-quantum encryption techniques. One of the finalists revealed on July 5, 2022, was later cracked by an ordinary laptop in under an hour. Therefore, the outcomes were mixed. It may be too late to do something about it now. Even if public access to quantum computers powerful enough to defeat RSA is still a few years away, hackers are already capturing and storing sensitive data in anticipation of this eventuality. Moreover, the conflict in Ukraine has acted as a wake-up call. Russia's cyber attacks on critical communications and infrastructure before its military assault made this the first heated conflict in history to do so. A cyber blitzkrieg targeted essential infrastructure like power plants, news outlets, financial institutions, and private companies as well as charities that distribute aid like food and medication. Decisions must be made quickly and accurately in modern military and national security systems. Simply put, if your computer is quicker than theirs, you win. That step forward is called quantum. Concern about quantum technology isn't limited to safety concerns. Because their calculations can be checked manually with a pen and paper, we have faith in classical computers. However, traditional verification is very difficult because quantum computers deal with such intricate problems and require such arcane physics. For the time being, traditional supercomputers can emulate numerous quantum calculations to verify their results. However, there will soon be a time when having faith in a quantum computer is a need. Establishing trust within the ecosystem is crucial at this time. The challenge of making quantum code practical is enormous. Using quantum computing technology, Australian researchers were able to monitor a phenomenon that is often too quick for the human eye to detect. To better understand what is happening during a normal chemical reaction, the scientists slowed down molecular contact by a factor of 100 billion. Studying the subatomic world of atoms and molecules is exceedingly challenging for a number of reasons, including the fact that everything happens considerably quicker than the human eye can register. For example, the formation and dissolution of chemical bonds can occur in a matter of femtoseconds, or quadrillionths of a second. This makes it hard to understand the finer details of certain crucial procedures. Researchers from the University of Sydney slowed down one of these extremely fast processes using a quantum computer for the new study. They saw what happens to a single atom in a conical intersection, a geometry that frequently occurs in chemical reactions like photosynthesis. For decades, researchers have sought to make direct observations of these phenomena. Astoundingly slowing down the process by a factor of 100 billion, the scientists used a trapped ion quantum computer to map the challenge onto a relatively modest quantum device. As a result, it is now within the range of speeds that can be measured by today's technology. In nature, the whole process is over within femtoseconds, said Vanessa Olaya Agudelo, co-lead author of the study. They were able to reduce the timescale of chemical reactions from femtoseconds to milliseconds thanks to the system they developed using their quantum computer. This made it possible for them to take accurate measurements and observations. Historically, this has never been attempted. Although it may appear to be nothing more than a simulation, the team insists it is more akin to a controlled environment experiment along the lines of a wind tunnel, which is used to study the mechanics of airflow in airplanes. The use of quantum computers in such research has the potential to shed light on the fast-paced world of molecular interactions, which in turn could inform developments in a wide variety of sectors. By gaining insight into these fundamental molecular processes, we can pave the way for groundbreaking advances in fields like solar energy collection, medication creation, and materials research. It may also be useful for enhancing the efficiency of processes that rely on the interaction of molecules with light, such as the formation of smog or the depletion of the ozone layer. There are likely countless undiscovered uses for quantum computing that have yet to be identified. Advanced civilizations are almost certain to take advantage of quantum computing due to its revolutionary benefits, such as ultra-fast data processing and unbreakable security. While quantum computing has the potential to address numerous issues, it also carries the risk of introducing many more. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.